Wise Ed, are you a judge? Or do you just like wearing the robe? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Yes, it is. You are one bad senior partner. You said you would try, so jump in. Dad, I talked about the eggs. You said you cut eggs. That's not enough. So now my grandson tells me he needs a jet ski, and on top of that, he wants to turn professional. Oh, he's talking about jet skiing. Tell me a water skiing story. Come on, Miss, Miss, Mr. Kaplan. Speaking of jet skiing, Doug has a funny story about water skiing. Oh, oh, great, just one sec. So bottom line, I tell my daughter, get him the best jet ski they make. I don't care what it costs. I mean, the kid has cystic fibrosis. I just want to see him happy, you know? How's the little guy doing? Not so good. <laughs> so, Doug, you have a water skiing story? <laughs> And then I uh, fall, and uh, my bathing suit literally explodes on impact. <laughs> and uh, I'm just like, I'm, I'm floating there, you know? I'm floating there. I'm just like, whoa. Ooh, don't fall. Hmm? Don't fall. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, uh, seaweed touched me, and it was, it was gross. <sighs> the end. <laughs> That's some story. I tell you, Doug, you may want to look into editing that bad boy. <laughs> well, this has been a super breakfast. That's the last thing I'm saying all weekend. You were just thrown by the fibrosis thing. Don't give up. I just want to say thank you so much for hosting this whole thing. It's really great up here. Oh, yeah, I love it here in the mountains. You know, when I was younger, I used to climb these things. <laughs> oh, yeah, climbing's great. Uh, you a climber, Doug? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. There's nothing like it, is there? No, there is not. <laughs> How high up you been? Hmm? What's the highest elevation you hit? Uh, oh, uh, 29,000, 28 feet, yeah. 29,000 feet? That's Everest. You've climbed Mount Everest? Yes, I did. <laughs> Why would you say you climbed Mount Everest? I don't know! What were you thinking? I don't! No! <laughs> you were pinching me and poking me. He brought up mountain climbing. I, I, I remembered the book. The book isn't about you. I know that now. <laughs> see, see, this is why I don't read. OK, you know what? You know what? You know what? For the rest of the trip, you stay in this room, and you will make a very brief appearance at the final dinner, OK? A lot of lawyers do that with their alcoholic wives. It works. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stay in the room. You know what I'll do? I'll just watch TV. Hey, look what's on. Flowers! <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, we can make it. Okay. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Crap! What? That was Mr. Kaplan. Apparently now he finds my husband, the mountain climber, delightful. <laughs> We're going horseback riding with him in 15 minutes. What? We well, can't. He'll grill me about Everest. I, I don't, maybe he won't ask. Carrie, I scaled the highest mountain in the world. Who wouldn't ask about that? I'm fascinated. <laughs> oh, you're right. What are we gonna do? Here. We've got about six and a half minutes. Read. We need to know where Mount Everest is, what kind of equipment you need. Is there any good mountain lingo in there? What's it say? What's it say? I'm looking. I'm looking. Hey, this guy lost a big toe. I'm very screwed. And when exactly did you lose the big toe? Uh, oh, I don't even know. I just took my boot off and uh, it was gone. Yeah, he still has trouble balancing. Oh, I envy you, Doug. I'm tough as nails in the courtroom, but I wonder if I could have held up on that hill. I think you would have been pretty great. <laughs> Thanks. Means a lot. Hey, you know, next weekend, you and Carrie should come up to our house in Connecticut. You like hot air ballooning? Uh, uh... We love it! <laughs>